this demonstration we're going to look at configuring um, multi mailbox search. What multi mailbox search does is the equivalent sort of thing that we had in Exchange Server 2007, where Exchange administrators could search mailboxes by using the export mailbox command. What we can now do in 2010 is we can set up this thing that allows us to search across multiple mailboxes by using the Exchange control panel. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up users to have the discovery management permissions. So to do that, in Active Directory users and computers, I've got my discovery management group, click on members here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in Luca, and we're going to make Luca, or give Luca the ability to search these multiple mailboxes. So check his name, click OK, click OK again, so now all done. The next thing I need to do is I need to actually give Luca permissions to a mailbox which is created in Exchange 2010 called the Discovery Search Mailbox. So what I'll do here is I'll just quickly kick over to EX1 and go into the Exchange Management Console. So now I'm in the Exchange Management Console, I have my Discovery Search Mailbox. So what I need to do here is I just need to give full access permission to Luca. Click Add here, just find Looker on the list. So there's Looker. Click OK. Now we've done that, we'll click the Manage button. Click Finish. Now all done. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kick over to Van CL1. And what I'm going to do is open up Outlook, just send some messages backwards and forwards so that Looker can actually go through and search these various mailboxes. Here we are then, Microsoft Outlook. So what I'm going to do here is just create a new mail message. Within this new mail message, I'm going to send some emails to various users in my organization. So send these two users here. What we'll do, just press Control K, just to fill out and resolve the user names. Under the subject here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this new message. Below this new message here is I'm just going to put into the actual message body a little message so that we've received the new project X items. So now that we've done all of this, the next thing that we're going to do here is we're just going to send this email message. Just check the send items, just make sure it has gone. So it has at this point here. These are left over from an earlier demo. The next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to come into the Exchange Control Panel and see if Luca can actually search across everything. So we'll just log into the Exchange Control Panel. Just now logging in. Next thing we'll do is once this is up and running, I'll just click on the reporting tab. So on the reporting tab, I've got my mailbox search here. So because of the group that I've been a member of, which is Discovery Management Group. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to select what to manage. So we do actually have my organization. Then what we're going to do here is just under the multi mailbox search, what we're going to do is just create a new search. Within the new search here, what we're concerned about here for keywords is we're just going to search for Project X. Next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to expand the mailboxes to search. And the mailboxes we wish to search here, by clicking the Add button, we're going to specify the two users that we sent the mail to before. So we've got Manage here. And the other one that we're going to add in here as well is we're going to add in Luca. And we'll also add in We. Now we've done all of that, we'll just click OK. We'll just expand further down here the search name and storage locations. And in the search name field here, what we're going to type in is we're just going to type in Project X. And then Discovery. Scroll this down a little bit further. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to search through the discovery search mailbox. 
save this off. What it's going to do here, it's just going to actually search through for any mail messages contain Project X. So I'll just pause this while it's working through its percentage. So as we can see, it's now succeeded. So we can see that we've done the search. We've got a number of items in here. So the next thing we'll do here is just click my email. Then up in the top corner here, next thing we'll do here is we'll just click look at Delacour. And we'll select the mailbox. And what we're going to select here is we'll just type in the discovery. Click open. As you can see, an unread mail. We've got the new message. So we've done our multi mailbox search. Click OK and we can see the new message that was sent out. So we just double click this. We can see who the mail message was sent to. We can have a look at the mail message within here. So that's using the discovery mailbox search and using the exchange control panel to do a search across multiple mailboxes. Thanks for your time. That's the end of this demonstration.